welcome to Daily Ukulele Workout number 73. And this concludes my three parts on, based on melodies from Handel's Arrival of the Queen of Sheba. And in this one, uh, it's where the two oboes come and play. And they're most of the time harmonising in thirds. And I'll show you how that bit works using two adjoining strings. So we're going to be playing quite high up the keyboard. Oh, fretboard, sorry. So bar, first bar is all at this fifth position. After the six eighth, second time we've had that B flat to C, we jump up. And one of the things I like about this fingering is we've used two and four there. Then for this one we're using one and three. So that's a new little thing to work out all by itself. Now that 10, the penultimate note of that bar, the D, is going to be when the, both oboes are actually playing uh, the same note. It starts with just one oboe doing this. And then, um, after another 6-8, the other oboe joins in. Then they stay in thirds. Most of the fingering is fairly obvious. If you're two frets apart, you're going to be using one and two. If you're two frets apart, then you're going to be using one and three. But just occasionally, especially when you push up to these 10 and 11s, uh, you do that rather than go and do that. just uh, thinking as I was playing it when I do that five and six after one and three I changed fingers two and three that's in bar three on the sixth note okay just do that last bar again so Okay, so enjoy this final passage from Mr. Handel's wonderful arrival of the Queen of Sheba. <laughs>